Okay, I'm Sarah McIntyre and I did the pictures in The Prince of Pants with Alan McDonald. So I'm going to show you how to draw a corgi. And they're quite silly, these corgis, so don't worry if yours doesn't look exactly like mine. It's okay, they can look a bit silly. First thing we'll do is just to draw the bottom of the crown. So I'm going to do a line here and another line here. And then attach them. Ends. And then I'm going to do really big ears like this. Boom! You can make the sound if you want. Come around. And boom. And come around again. And then I think I'm going to do the nose. So there's a nose that's kind of a rectangle shape like that. And then color it in, but leave a little patch of light so it looks shiny. Just like that. And we'll do his mouth, just kind of straight. A very silly looking tongue hanging out. Blech. And then kind of do like a little box, starting the side of his nose around. And it goes there behind the tongue. And then we'll do two eyes. Kind of stare straight ahead in the story. Look a bit zombie-like almost. And little dots in the middle. Maybe make it kind of cross-eyed. And then we'll put little lines just to show this is where if you were coloring it, you'd have a little white patch down the middle of his face. The rest would be orange. And then a line here, some hair coming out of his ear. With a line here, hair coming out of his ear. Then they've got kind of fluffy hair on the side, so we're going to do a point on the side. And then come in right down to the bottom of his foot. And his foot, we're going to come a line here and then do three little claws. One, two, three. And then another line and kind of come around have some hair pointing down in his tummy, and then the line. Three more claws, one, two, three, line. And then we're gonna do the other side of his face, so the hair that comes off here, like that. And then we're gonna do his backside. So come around, right to here. A little thing comes out where his foot is. And again, you'll just draw three little claws. I don't think they really have three claws, but that's how I draw them. And then we're going to connect right here like that. And another little leg in the back, just kind of hidden behind. Maybe a line here. And let's see, I put a little tail on. And also they've got kind of another little line here just to show where the white patch goes. And we're going to do his crown. So we're going to do, it, do a line like that. And a line coming off the side of the crown. The second line inside of that. Same on the other side. And then you can color this red if you're coloring it, but I'm just going to do it in black. I'm going to fill the kind of velvet that goes inside the crown. And a little knob on the top. And then a big jewel. So if you're coloring that, it could be a big red jewel maybe. And if you have a little finer pen, you can add even extra gems and things. You can paint them all sorts of colors, just like that. And, oh, of course, he's got to be wearing pants. All of the corgis in the book wear pants. So a line across his tummy, line here on his leg, another line. And then you can do any kind of pattern you like. You could make them, there's a little waistband. Maybe you can make them stripy, or have stars, or whatever you like, really. I'm going to make mine stripy. And then just draw a little line to show that he's standing on something. So a little line that connects behind. And maybe some grass. Maybe he's had an accident. There's a little poo. Draw that. Ha ha ha. Shade it in. And you'd only know it's poo because it's got a fly coming off of it. It's a bit stinky. Hee <laughs> hee. Something's got to scoop that one. A bit more grass. And maybe some little bits of hair on him. Just so you can see he's a hairy guy. Maybe it's a girl corgi. You can name your corgi. Have, have, a, think, have a think of a name. And the corgi might say, Arf. So write the words and then do a little speech bubble so you know that the dog's saying that. And always don't forget to sign your picture. So I'm going to sign my name and you sign yours. And there we go. One very silly corgi. Pants, pants, glorious pants.